best learned that the imam shot outside a mosque in Newark, New Jersey early this morning has died. Police say Hassan Sharif, the resident imam of the Masjid Muhammad Mosque, was found outside in critical condition with bullet wounds in his abdomen and left arm. Our senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky has been following the investigation. What do we know about what happened? Any more details, Aaron? It was about 6.15 in the morning. The imam appears to have been arriving at the mosque for morning prayers when he was shot by an unknown assailant, apparently dressed in all black, according to eyewitnesses. When police arrived, they found the imam uh, down on the pavement, uh, and he was immediately taken to a nearby hospital in critical condition, and we have since learned within the last uh, several moments, Kira, that he died of his injuries. So now this is uh, a homicide investigation. The authorities uh, have not said much, though we do expect a news conference later this afternoon. Uh, the imam, in addition to his duties uh, for the for the mosque, he was a, a TSA agent. He screened passengers at the airport, and the TSA put out a statement uh, offering its condolences uh, to his family. But he was well known in the community. Uh, the mosque has a deep history with the Nation of Islam in Newark as, as one of its uh, first mosques, uh, and and the imam was uh, known to offer. Prayers, invocations, benedictions at, at city council meetings and the like. The governor, uh, Phil Murphy, said there is no evidence of, of any kind of a hate crime at this point, uh, but he is uh, fervently denouncing now this murder. So anything that you have learned thus far about a motive, and now we're thinking it's possibly not just one suspect, but maybe multiple suspects? Well, uh, the authorities don't yet know. They've been scouring uh, any kind of uh, either city cameras or business surveillance cameras for any potential footage of, of what went on so they can get a better understanding. So they've been canvassing the neighborhood around the mosque, as you see it there on South Orange Avenue in, uh, in Newark. They don't have any evidence at this point that points to a bias or a hate crime, uh, but they are still continuing to, uh, to search for a motive, Kira. All right, we'll continue to follow the investigation. Aaron, thanks so much.